Mario Cadero, who is the executive director of the Port of Long Beach. How are you doing today? All good, all good. It's a great day for labor and a great day for uh, our economy because labor is so much part of why our economy is doing very well. So what do you see, uh, you know, you've, uh, through the COVID and through the supply chain, uh, uh, backup, uh, the two ports of LA and Long Beach have been working very closely together in ways that uh, heretofore uh, rarely happened. Uh, what changed? Well, number one, I think people realize that this port complex, the San Pedro Bay port complex, is extremely important for the U.S. economy. And hence, we've collaborated at a very high level to make sure the nation's commerce keeps moving every day. Since COVID, going back to the spring of 2020, there hasn't been a day that this port, either port has closed down, mainly because the labor's been there day in, day out. Now, <clears throat> apparently, um, the, uh, the ILWU uh, Coastwise contract is still uh, being negotiated up in San Francisco. Any thoughts on uh, those negotiations? Well, I'm very optimistic that at some point soon the ne negotiations will come to conclusion. I think the most important thing we have to see or that we must realize that uh, labor hasn't stopped working. Labor hasn't slowed down. The nation's commerce keeps moving day in, day out. So I think in that respect, uh, I want to really compliment everybody who works on the docks to keep that cargo moving because despite the negotiations, they continue to work day in, day out. It seems to be uh, the, the sticking point with that uh, negotiation uh, about jurisdictional issues over automation. What are the plans in Long Beach in regards to automating any more terminals? Well, let me just say this. The model that we went forward with the Long Beach Container Terminal, uh, I don't see that happening again for a number of reasons. Uh, that kind of investment, the Port of Long Beach, at no point forward is going to make any of that type of investment in the future. Second, I think it's very important to understand from a port perspective that we continue to ask ourselves and a very important question. Ports exist because of the economy moving cargo, but what's the benefit to the community? And the answer to that is the benefit to the community that we must always understand is on the environmental front, reduce emissions, our goal is to eradicate emissions, but also to make sure that we provide the kind of job market that keeps the economy and the middle class strong in the USA. So I think, again, on that in mind, we're very tuned to the fact of keeping that two-pronged responsibility, a job maker and improving the environment. To that point, uh, you, you obviously must have read the Economic Roundtable report on our oceans uh, that talked about the amount of job loss and what the economic impact was uh, with the existing automated terminals. How much of that report have you discussed with your staff? Well, number one, I did read the report. Number two, that's been the poor old Long Beach's mindset, at least since I became executive director in May of 2017. And that's, we have to constantly ask the question, what is the benefit to the community? If you remember when I was a commissioner years back at the Port of Long Beach, I used to say that for this port complex, the question for us as a port and as a commission is, how does this business, you know, in terms of, I used to say, we need to benefit the many as opposed to benefit the few. And what I meant was, we need to be community engaged. You know, Long Beach has a tremendous budget set aside for community grants, working with a nonprofit. So I think that's part of our mantra that uh, we already uh, have moved forward. So I agree with the study. And overall, with regard to the job loss, this is a question for the nation. Because if you go back to the report that McKinsey issued back in 2016, one in three jobs, as we know it, is going to be eliminated in this country if we pursue the fast track on robotics and automation. That's not something I think we need to, or it's something I think, first of all, we need to really think about that. Have you talked with Joe Biden about this? Well, number one, I don't need to talk to the president on that issue because I'm pretty sure he agrees with that, uh, uh, that position. And, and the position being is how jobs are so important to the American economy. And again, saying all that, obviously technology is going to continue to move in the way it's going to in, in many of us sectors, but we also have to stop and think and see how, we, how do we mitigate the impact. Great. Thank you. Mario Cordero, Executive Director of the Port of Los Angeles.